precautions, which masks, are effective at stopping the spread of COVID. And we Governor Zoe Williams explains how you can spot a fake mask that puts users at risk. Since the beginning of the pandemic, doctors have been encouraging everyone to mask up. And according to experts, the N95 mask choice when it comes to stopping team. The uh, CDC has indicated that individuals should wear the most protective available. At this point, that is the N95 mask. That simply means that it uh, filters down to three microns, about 95% of all particles. But more and more fake masks are hitting the market counterfeit versions of the KN95 mask, a type of N95 mask been found all over the U.S. The CDC says 60% of K masks in America are fake, which could be dangerous. It obviously gives you a sense of security that isn't there, that's misplaced, and it puts wearing the mask and those around that uh, person get COVID-19. Uh, Everyone buys the correct mask. There are resources to help. There is a list published. I think it's available both from CDC and FDA about that, that all of the manufactured approved masks uh, that meet you know, specific standards. There are also a few things to look out for when purchasing N95 masks. All real N95 masks the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health and have the organization's acronym on the box. Make sure you see the acronym and that it's spelled correctly. Approval numbers should also be on the mask filter or headband. The Biden administration says free masks will be available for pickup at pharmacy health centers nationwide by the end of this week. In Jackson, Leah Williams, 12 News. Hey, thank you, Leah.